Hi everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Dragway Memories. we got lots to show you this week. We're going to start with some 1972 Pro Stock action from Dragway Park, Cayuga. Now we're going back in time to 1972. Barry Poole, look at the long smoky burnout through the rosin as well. He's up against Mike Fons in the Rod Shop Dodge. Hammy powered 427 Ford for Barry. And this is a nice rare shot of the late John Petrie. This is the last car that he built from scratch. There he goes, Danny McLennan, helping him through the burn. I was very proud of that car. It was very, very high tech at the time. He sold it to Rick Hurst and finished his campaign with a quick build special. Pro stocks were a lot cooler in 1972, weren't they? And a little more stock than they are today. In the year 2000, uh, my late wife Valerie and I uh, went to the track. She shot video, I shot stills. And this is what we got. I'm cutting it back. All right, way to go. 2000 action. There goes Fred Gross. 64 Chevelle against Pete Newman and the dragster. And we think this is a Parkhurst Motors dragster, but Cloakie I... Cloakie over on the other lane. Yeah, that's uh, Greg Cloak in the far lane and his Roadrunner before he wrecked that. And this Camaro, there's another Parkhurst entry. Uh, I believe it to be a, a Buffalo area car, but uh, everybody out there needs to help me out with that one. Rob and I don't have any info on it, which is unusual. Mr. Hanna. Revenge, Malibu. Freddy's Revenge. Freddy's Revenge. And a very, very good racer. Very, very prominent in this time frame. Backed away from it now. I think they still have the car, actually. And uh, here we go, Wayne Sipos. Always has some gorgeous and hard running stuff. High winding small blocks up against Steiger, it looks like, in the Camaro. Wayne's car is uh, now freshly rebuilt in a beautiful candy red, and we hope to see him out in 2020. Nice hard large for Wayne. Charlie Speck in the white Camaro. And I'm not sure who this is in this gold Camaro. Looks like a familiar car. Ritter Weber in the duster. Steve Gordon, of course, in his Ford powered dragster X Rini Brothers top fueler. Currently for sale. That's the old Casper's edition, too. Yeah, that's the old Tommy Kasperzak duster. Yeah, they're wrong. Very good, Rob. Mopar action. Here's our unknown LJ Roadster. Fairly long wheelbase car. Uh, no writing that I can pick out a possible driver. Out of Buffalo, New York, in the Drag Racing News, George Peace. Always did a great deal of stuff on the Canadian racing scene as well. Some throttle stop action. 1090 just coming into its own as a popular category in 2000. Gaining a lot of support. Steve Firstall, back when he was a door car guy. And I don't know, I think this is a Buffalo area Nova. Could use some help with that. Sean Geary in the Monte Carlo, also out of Western New York. Both those cars are from Western New York. And both of them still campaign today, I believe. And there's Ted's dad. Always a fixture. Always nice to see the clapper, Bill Barnes. Up against Kirk Benny. In the now silver Pontiac Firebird, concentrating on the 1090 index. Hence the big HR on the Window, Ted still has Super Pro on his window as the prominent class designation, soon to be changed to Super Street and IHRA Hot Rod, 1090 action. 
Ted Cordingly still has his car looking very, very similar to what you see here. He kind of largely parked it and concentrating on his sons who have become quite active in lacrosse. Ted is now a major coach in national lacrosse and has some very big rings to prove it. And I think these two are Western New York throttle stop cars. As are these Joran Tiora in the Opal and the Transmaster 33, both out of Western New York. So the designation on the Willie Super Comp 890. So they'll have the throttle stop on for quite a bit. Two more Western New Yorkers. It was worth the trip back then. 1090 action. Jerry Stoutenberg, that family still has that car and they still campaign it today. I saw it at Empire not too long ago. And speaking of Western New Yorkers, there's another couple. Must have come up for some kind of 1090 meet. Which I believe was before Ted Barnes. But Ted's on here and he can help. So there's another 1090 guy, John Jablonski, back when he had a 69 Chevelle. Now he has the beautiful Jason Vitez built flat black 67 Nova. Speaking of Jason Vitez, there he is. Chassis builder out of Western New York. And we've got some solid motorcycle action. Very cherry. We know who those are. Patty Benner and Paul Schill. Comp Eliminator small block high winding piece. Andy Rankin. Doing some heavy duty burnouts and a beautiful Corvette. And the Nielsen's Shock Therapy Pro Mod. Beautiful car and some beautiful paint on it. Everything was top notch about this car. Art, and you don't have to tell me. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to tell you. because COVID, I stayed in the tower mostly. I did meander down to the starting line a couple of times with my cameras and shot a little video. And when I raced my car, we shot a bunch of videos. So here's a little mishmash of that right now from 220, the year of COVID.
thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you liked what you saw. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button. Remember, hook hard, go straight, never be late, and may your God bless you and wear the damn mask. See you next week.